steam babington plumbing details I'm going to try to explain some of the different uh, pieces of um, tubing and pipe connections uh, that we're using to make this steam babington work I guess the sun's uh, jumping around in the clouds there so we're going to have picture problems but uh, down at the bottom of this just pan which usually holds the waste vegetable oil you'll see there's a little strainer screen um, and then I have a quarter inch pipe T and then a quarter inch elbow fitting coming into that down uh, there with a quarter inch piece of copper tubing coming up that's the skinnier piece of tubing there's also a half inch piece of copper tubing there now that's where the oil flows up with the bubbles in the airlift pump also uh, recently being used now as a steam oil lift pump um, that quarter inch skinnier tube going down right here coming in is for the air or if I adjust the, the valves um, once it's hot enough to create steam we can pump steam down there and that works very well and what happens those steam or air bubbles go down and bubble um, into that T which uh, the air bubbles essentially cause buoyancy in that oil or make that um, oil with the bubbles much lighter so it lifts that oil up the half inch tube up through this brass fitting to a T here which is open at, at the top that way there some of the steam can escape without uh, condensing in the oil or air bubbles also can just pop there but then downhill there's a piece of 3 8 inch copper tubing where the oil will drip down and it's, it bends down and drips onto the ball so that's essentially the principle of the airlift pump which can run also you know with steam once we get going because we're trying to make an electric free burner but right now if you'll see down here where that copper tubing goes down carrying the air and there's a valve a T here and a valve so I can turn off this part which basically is just a plastic airline tube from this aquarium air pump to deep um, air stone pump for you know an aquarium and it runs on you know the 110 volt AC which we're trying not to use. I'm using it just at startup. Alright, but uh, then once we get going, we can turn that off, unplug it, and run off steam. Also, something I haven't experimented around with much, I think if I need to, since we have uh, another valve coming in here that uh, is able to be turned off, to start the burner, we use propane. That's propane coming in and to light the ball that that same propane is on the same tubing system with the steam that's coming in there's a valve over here see if i can catch it that's the steam coming in from the abaddington burner itself so that is shut off when we start the propane which is teed right in here is turned on when we start it and it all goes to the same system where we can tee in and run the uh, air lift pump. So what I'm saying is I could use propane to run the air lift pump, which I'm sure would work, although there'll be some propane gas escaping up from the oil, which is far enough from the fire that it wouldn't light, but it's a waste of propane. But in a pinch, I really believe we could... Um, start the airlift pump with propane as well as the ball um, and if anything happens we can shut it off real quick if, if for some reason I was to light the uh, air bubbles that are coming out of the top of the T with a propane torch or something I'm sure it would it put a burst of fire up here but uh, you don't need much so it wouldn't be much and